How's it going everybody? Today we are doing Mothership Zeta, which seems to be everybody's most hated DLC, but I absolutely love it. This is a completion guide of getting all the audio logs, all the unique armor, all the good stuff, and more. So, hope you guys like this video. We're going to move super quick. And yeah, this is one of my favorite DLCs. The weapons are really great, and one of them is one of my favorite energy weapons in the game. So, that being said, we are going to jump right in. I remember the first time I did this, I Throw discovered it by punches, accident, and I was so excited as a kid. And then jump them when they come in to break it up. La la la, get in a fight. Okay, Don't kill her. Four. Beat them down. They're nothing. Grab the shock baton, beat the other one, and turn left. You don't want to miss the first three logs, because you can't come back to lots of areas, guys, so it's very important you don't miss any if you're going for the achievements. This is the third time I've gotten all of these logs in my entire life, so hopefully I won't be doing it again. And always, guys, modify these. They give you 50 experience, which is way more than you get from actually killing enemies in the whole thing. And also, don't miss these three logs right in here. Boom, boom, boom. Come this way. Now we just gotta free the little girl. Who is, for some reason, from before the war, but hasn't aged. Click those three things around it. Blow it up. Free her. La, la, la. Well, no kidding, I'm escaping. Get her to open the door, like a little sister. Okay, guys, now don't miss this, because this is where your gear is, so don't want to forget it. Always check every stash, grab the ammo at the very least, get all our stuff back, and boom, going through it with the Anchorage DLC stuff. You have to. I recommend doing that DLC first, always. And always make sure, guys, you get those little green and red crystals that are all over the place. Nothing like killing aliens. This sword seems to be everything in this whole ship's weakness, also. Nothing can withstand, like, one or two hits. Ha 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 ha. Weak, pathetic aliens. I also don't explore a lot in this video, guys, because you can do that on your own, but be sure you go through absolutely everything always. Like, I just missed a whole hallway over there. But anyways, I'm just pointing out the good stuff. Now come in here, and you do not want to miss right through this door. Some good stuff in here. La la la. Modify this. But most importantly, these alien power cells, guys. This is the rarest ammo in the game, and I do show where to get every single stash of it in the ship. Make your way through. I'm not going to hold your hand through every little thing, but you get the gist of it. And as you go through the levels, this area will keep getting more and more stuff, so keep going through it. And then every single time I finish one wing of the ship, I always stash all my stuff in the same container, and I recommend you do that too. Every single time. Because this stuff is worth so much money and worth bringing back to the wasteland. For sure. Keep the bare minimum. Alright. Now, we're going to be thawing our buddies and grabbing some more logs. One. Two. Three. And there's one more. Four. That's all the logs in this part. That makes 10 out of 25 so far. Thought all these guys. Hiya, mister. I thought this was so cool when I was a kid. I love this DLC. And grab this spacesuit. Okay. Now right after you do that, this little energy shield will go down. And don't forget to loot this room. Those things that I just picked up are weapon repair kits. And then bring this Sounds guy like to the cryo lab. I don't use the other guys there for the other parts, but I do like bringing him for this part. Alright. Now, first thing you want to do is come over here, click this. Unlocks the door. Don't forget all the good stuff everywhere, la la la. Modify that, grab all the good stuff, another alien log, most importantly. 
Okay. I always use these robots to help me out. They kill the robots that, I mean the aliens that when you kill them it's bad karma. Not even one hit on me. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Another alien log. Number two. Which is 12 out of 25 so far. Halfway pretty well. And then come in here and kill all these guys or usually they will kill your buddy who comes with you. Which is why I did that first. And then there's lots of good stuff in here guys. Make sure you search absolutely everything. But I'm only going to point out a few things. They're all on shelves down here. You can get a power armor suit. Laser rifle, power armor helmet, tons of good stuff. And if you put that on the samurai, he will put it on and you can pickpocket his outfit if you don't want to kill him for it. But I don't care. Combat armor also, you want to put that on the cowboy if you want to pickpocket his stuff. And just the bare necessities, you know, meds. And yeah, another good stash over here. Easily missed. Recon armor. All right. No! How do you like that, you fox? How does it feel to be on the other end for a change? Ha 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 ha. Overkill. They're already dead. And don't forget these logs here. Number 11 and number 17. That's 14 out of 25. Listen to him talk if you want to save his buddies before you do this, but this is how you save them for a time. Because their armor is a very rare set. What happened to us? They grabbed us from Anchorage, and now we're free. Here, take these weapons and follow me. We got the full Let's Anchorage the team going on. US soldiers can do. On me, squad. Let's go. Okay, now go through that door right behind them and turn to your left. We got another log. Now that's 15, 10 left. And this is the last one in this area. Number 16. 16 out of 25. Don't forget to explore this whole area. I'm, I didn't show it, but there is lots and lots of stuff here. But I did want to just point out that these guys, as soon as you activate this and blow it up, they will automatically die and their time runs out. And that's when you can get their stuff. Which is rare, and it does have a plus 10 med skill. Yep. Why not, right? Okay, now we are going to the maintenance level. Grab all the good stuff, but don't forget to unload all your stuff, guys. Never forget that before you go into each other level. Have our little Star Wars moment. Once you wake up, turn to your right. And like I said many times, be sure you search this whole thing. I just saw the main good stuff, but there's lots of stuff I didn't grab, like safes and you know how it is. Turn to your immediate right, and if you're on PC, you can get a patch for this. It's uh, glitched on consoles for some reason, but this is supposed to be a duster of the general in the Anchorage DLC. But if you're on console, it will just look like this. But it still has lots of good effects that makes this unique. So don't miss that. And then make your way all the way through all these stupid levels. I didn't bother showing it. And then once you come through this door, there's just going to be a couple enemies. Watch out. They like to hide.
<laughs> and then don't forget to get this guy's very easily missed number 19 and that's 17 out of 25 now and then once you get to the end okay, I didn't walk you through the whole place. little steps but don't forget to go in this room with all the med kits there's tons of good stuff in here but more importantly a samurai sword you can actually get two of these in the DLC if you don't give this one to the samurai so keep it it's one of the best swords in the game actually okay and now guys we are headed to the engine room Shotguns work really well. Haha. -ha. Alright, now just where all those guys came out of. Come in here. Some good stuff to loot, but more importantly, a unique shock baton. Electro suppressor. I'd never use it, but you gotta collect all the Uniques, right? Okay, guys, now we're going to the cargo hold. There's not actually any unique items here, but there's lots and lots of good stuff to loot, so make sure you check everywhere, and tons and tons of enemies have good stuff, and they keep spawning here. Watch out for that. And then just make your way up here. Ha ha ha. this come in here okay guys now click that button at the back or there and then all the enemies that spawn you can kill them like this if you want to get it done quick or you can kill them by yourself and then get experience but I get it done quick come here blow this up this parts done Okay guys, now you just want to turn immediately left, and this is probably my favorite weapon from this whole DLC. It comes between this one and another one. I don't show it, but there's so much good stuff in here, so make sure you spend a lot of time in here clearing the place out. And then right over here, you need... Uh, Science 75 to hack this. Disable the safe. And then just come this way. And there is a safe lodged in the rubble right here. And this is the best plasma weapon in the entire game, guys. It does over three times the damage of a regular plasma pistol, and it's better than a standard plasma rifle. So you don't want to miss that one for sure. And while we're in here, we just got one more stop to make. The research labs. For the sole purpose of more alien logs. Lots of guys in here, be careful. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, one right here. 13, that's 18 out of 25. Ha ha ha. And then don't forget this one. 21. 19 out of 25 already. Now we're coming back and we are going to the weapons labs. Or no, sorry, not the weapons labs. This is the robotics lab. Also, there's nothing special in here. Just lots of good stuff. 
but I do walk you through the whole DLC because there can be challenging parts. I remember the first time I played this, I didn't know that you had to explode this wall and I was stuck for like hours before I knew to YouTube things or before people made guides like this. Good old days. Come in here and be very careful. So, so many guys here. Ha 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 ha. Okay guys, then just hit this. You know what to do. Blow it up. And then head on back. Wow, you did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. Okay, throw on that spacesuit or you will die. Come in here, come outside, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the first and only time that we have been in space in Fallout. Enjoy the view. All you gotta do is click these three things. And then we are on our way. On the road again. Alright. Okay guys, now we get our friends. Listen to this alien bitch and threaten us. Ooh, spooky. I'm coming for you, Captain. And then just make your way through here. This is the weapons labs. Be careful. then come in here grab all these turn right around and do not forget the alien power cells rarest ammo in the game again and also the unique weapon the atomic pulverizer one of my favorites from the DLC also great effects too slaughter them all slaughter them all Modify, modify, always. <laughs> Nothing like exploding alien heads, am I right? Okay guys, now this room is very, very important. There's tons of good stuff here, so make sure you don't miss anything. After you clear the room, come over here. Alien log 24, and that is 20 out of 25. And then once you activate these guys, make sure that you search both of them, you guys, because this is the weapon I was talking about, which is possibly my favorite energy weapon in the game. This is the best drone cannon. It has arc damage. It explodes on impact instead of bouncing around and there are two of them. So don't miss it. So, so good. All right, moving on. We got some stuff there. More importantly, more alien power cells. Don't miss that. And we got some Tesla armor, more weapon repair stuff. I mean, the rest isn't so important, but I believe this is the only way you can get Tesla stuff without progressing in the campaign. And then moving on, right here we have this unique weapon and this is different from the regular ones because it rapid fires. Does a bit less damage but still a good weapon. And then come over here you guys and once you click this to start spawning enemies, if you use alien weapons and kill 10 enemies all of your alien weapons do 20% more damage, so this is an absolute must. Make sure you get this perk. Alright, moving on. Now we are moving on to the experimentation lab. 
right where they were working on us when we got abducted. Three alien logs here. Come right here, grab this. Number 20, and that's 21 out of 25. From here, don't forget to search all these rooms, guys. Good stuff in all of them. Always is, right? Always is. And then you want to blow this thing up, and directly behind it is this log. And that is 22 out of 25. Ha 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 ha. Grab this. Alien log 9. That's 23 out of 25. And now we're in the biological research. Just right at the top after you kill those guys. Don't miss this log. And that is 24 out of 25. Come over here, open this shield. And before you continue to the next area, come down here. Lots of good stuff. More importantly, another stash of alien power cells. Couple over here too, don't miss them. Alright. And now, I'm just going to run through this entire part because there's nothing that I pick up that is unique or rare. Good time to make some use out of my favorite weapon. Now we are in the death ray room, one of the coolest parts of this whole DLC in my opinion by far. Alright, let's destroy this thing, what does this button do? Oh shit. What does this button do? Oh fuck. Oh shit. What did I do? Ah! Man, did this ever blow my mind when I was 12 playing this. They should have done a little map area on that, just like when they nuked it in New Vegas. But anyways, destroy all these things in the room. One, two, three. Power that down. So I cannot destroy Earth any more than I already have. And now we're just headed to... The living quarters, where we get the final alien log and lots of good stuff, so look around. Man, I love this weapon. And right here, guys, is 25 out of 25 alien logs. Do not miss it. After you slaughter them all, of course. Never thought I'd be doing this again. Okay guys, this is it, the bridge. The moment we've been waiting for, bitch. Ha ha ha. None will escape. What the fuck? I'll give you a hint. Right after you shoot, make your shield the max, wait till it shoots you, then shoot again.
shit. We did it, team. Yay. This was so, so, so exciting when I was young, back when this game was new. This was the best thing games had to offer, really. Like exploding the Death Star. What a beautiful sight to see. Alright guys, now for the rest of the uniques that we haven't gotten yet. I'm not afraid to end my friends because they have served their purpose. That's the second samurai sword. This is a really good outfit for any melee builds. Melee, melee. This guy has a unique outfit and his revolver actually shoots a spray like a shotgun. Not really my favorite, but a cool unique weapon for sure. And if you wanted another medic anchorage combat winterized set of armor, you know where to get it. And yeah. That's really all the good stuff from the ship, guys. That's everything. All the good stuff. All the alien logs, all the alien ammo, all the uniques, and hopefully a cool little shooter story for you to watch. But we're not quite done yet. Grab all the stuff that you've accumulated, which for me is 1,100 pounds. Walk your heavy over-encumbered ass over here once you leave the ship, because you do not want to miss the weapon which we've been collecting ammo for. Save right now because sometimes they drop through the ground. But grab all these. And then don't forget to pick up the pistol, obviously. And that is that. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helped someone. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Catch you later. Peace.